It hasn't been good for Boeing for quite a while now. It's been whistleblower after whistleblower after whistleblower. And Boeing realized they couldn't kill them all. We have another whistleblower coming forth to speak about safety concerns underneath Boeing. Boeing's embattled CEO brought before Congress to answer questions about its safety culture. It follows even more claims from whistleblowers about faulty parts. The last time the CEO appeared on Capitol Hill was after the door plug blew off this Alaska Airlines flight in January over Portland. Fox for T's Jennifer Dowling listened to today's hearing and has more tonight on the details and the latest complaint from a local employee and some of the questions being asked. Jen? The CEO of Boeing was in the hot seat today as members of the subcommittee grilled him about future plans and data surrounding the company's safety record and the treatment of whistleblowers. The latest report of intimidation coming from a quality assurance inspector from Renton. I would like to apologize on behalf of all of our Boeing associates. Boeing CEO David Calhoun apologized to those who lost loved ones in the 2018 and 2019 MAX 8 crashes. My sister Samia was killed on the plane and I'm here very simply to confront her killer. Calhoun said the door plug that blew out on a flight over Oregon prompted the company to re-examine safety. Immediately following Alaska, we had a stand down and we listened to everybody. I'm trying to deal with 30,000 ideas on how we can move forward. However, lawmakers demanded more data, noting that some of what had been provided was unacceptable. Are you able to make sense of this? No, sir. Complete gobbledygook. Yes, sir. This is what Boeing. Well, Boeing submitted information that even their representatives being sent to Congress couldn't understand that is truly wild what they're they think they're going to be able to get away with all of this when they obviously look like they're going to get effed the entire way for what they've been doing has provided to this committee in response to our request for information can you justify these productions i will uh I would describe it precisely as you did, and I can't justify, and I'm, I will most definitely follow up. Senators also talked about whistleblowers like John Barnett, who died of a reported suicide after raising concerns about missing parts. He reported that his supervisor called him 19 times in one day and 21 times another day. And when Barnett asked his supervisor about those calls, he was told, quote, I'm going to push you until you break. He broke. Senator Blumenthal said. Wow. He, wow. So, it is possible that Boeing forced this to commit suicide. Still definitely possible that Boeing had a larger hand in the death of the whistleblower. Sam Mohawk, a quality assurance inspector in Renton, also recently reported problems to the subcommittee. Boeing is improperly documenting, I'm quoting, non-conforming parts, possibly using them and installing them in airplanes. There are parts that are damaged or defective. He said that he's been told by his superiors to conceal this evidence from the FAA and that he is being retaliated against. Calhoun said he hadn't spoken to the whistleblowers personally, surprising senators who noted he's paid more than 32 million yearly. What, why have, why never will be. If you would like my chief engineer to talk about what he sees in No, here. I want to hear from you. Senator, I'm I'm sticking this through. I'm proud of having taken the job. I'm proud of our proud of this safety record. record and I am You're proud very of the safety proud. record. Families are hoping for their Wow, to be to to be proud of the safety record that Boeing has while you're being um, requested to go to Congress to speak about the lack of safety that their planes have, that is just insane to claim. This dude is insane. Your day in court. Give us our day in trial for with them, with all of them, not only the Boeing, the management and its CEO. 
One of the senators suggested that if disciplinary measures were talked about, perhaps there would be less retaliation. When asked how many managers or supervisors had been fired for retaliating against employees, the CEO said he did not have the number off the tip of his tongue, but said he'd be following up.